If two people break up over the phone and their friends refuse to acknowledge it, did it really happen? Yes. It's on it's Facebook official. If anything, they need us now more than ever. We need to show that we still love and support them. Them? Them? No, him. Okay. Oh, Kate, if I'm going in there, I'm taking sides. <laughs> no, man, we're a team, okay? We need to stick... Not like Kate was thinking of the team when she called Ben up and broke his uh, little heart. She had her reasons. Yeah, Sam, uh, what were they? <laughs> I don't know yet. Brian Dunphy, lecturer and undergraduate advisor at Brooklyn College, TV and radio. My role in Unproductive, I helped create it with Professor Stuart McClellan. Uh, we created it two years ago. And I came up with the course structure along with Professor McClellan. And I've been the creative kind of design around it and the person who handles the beginning part of the writing section. Uh, Sam, can you do lights? Yeah, no, no, I'll be PA. We don't need a PA. Great. I'll be taking a nap. So the stories come from us in winter, and then they get passed on in spring to a different professor. Stop! This isn't Netflix! So season one just tracks these, this group of close-knit students who are taking a final semester class with each other. Uh, two of the characters break up. They have boyfriend and girlfriend for the entire time. They break up. And that's how the show starts. Awesome, um, the awesome, breakup's awesome. already happened, so we're already dropped into this group and we gotta get to know them. All the friends start taking sides, and then we introduce a new student to the group. I'm gonna call you transfer chick, because you transferred. And we see how that relationship kind of blossoms and fractures the group as well. And all the while, the professor is challenging them to become better because people. Because it is not. I will fail you so goddamn hard. You will run to change your majors to medicine or accounting, whatever. What made us come up with Unproductive, it was I wanted to do a writing class over the summer. And I said we could put some stuff together because it's six weeks. And Professor McClellan, who was the chair at the time, said, hey, why don't we get something going? We have a studio. And then before we knew it, within an hour, we created this entire thing. Hi, I'm Frida Sitt. I wrote, produced, and edited season two of Unproductive, and I'm co-head writer of season three. So I started working on this series last winter, and we're finishing up season two now. Did you guys just get We here? developed these characters in winter of last year. So we, we broke down the script, made character arches, we developed characters. Stand by in the studio, stand by in control. I wasn't part of the original creative team, I was a teacher assistant for Brian Dunphy, and then for season two, he was looking for writers, and he brought me on. I take back my invitation. You're gonna be giving thanks. It's a great way to show your work. It's like you could create a web series and just film it over two weekends and throw it online, and that's your resume. Well, I'll have you know that I'm a Ravenclaw. Yeah, well, you kiss like a Dementor. Well, at least somebody's sucking something around here. Alex! Cut. What is the process of this? Um, no matter what, I always come in with an idea into winter. There's, we don't have enough time. I mean, we have six months from the day we walk in there to the day we start shooting. So we can't walk in, okay, what do you want to write? What kind of show do you want to tell? Uh, what kind of story do you want here? So usually, we, we come in with at least an idea. So season one and two are in the studio. Uh, it was about a group of people in season one. The other time I was like, well, what if it was people who aren't friends? and they have to be in a class together and they get closer as the class kind of goes forward. Um, season three is going to be featuring our radio station. So it's going to be about a radio host and all the things that they need to do. Give me a compliment, stranger. You know how to pick a drink? Where are you going? Stop! Hey, I'm Cam Rush Johnson and I played Theo in Unproductive. So I was in the first season of Unproductive and I made like a one, one small little cameo in season two. And I played Theo. Theo is this kind of, he's a jerk. <laughs> he's like a, a, a huge smart aleck and he's the comedic relief, but he has a lot of heart and you see that later on in the season. Dude, I bet her wallet says back off for them. 
Well, it's funny how I got involved because I, my friend David Dimitrik is one of the writers and one of the stars of Unproductive. He invited me and asked me to just come be a part. So I did about three table reads and they all went really well. David was like, I'm the lead and you'd play my best friend. So I said, yeah, and I'm really glad I did. What inspired me was right now, TV is not even in a golden age, it's in a platinum age. We have so many opportunities to release content. And I know that all of these production companies, they're looking for the next star. They're looking for the next Abby and Alana from Broad City. So we have a studio, we have people who want to write, we have people who want to be involved. When students want to write and they want to work, I'm like, yep, let's do it. Great.